And today on 114 Rides, we're installing a boost gauge. These are some of the various components we're going to use today to install our boost gauge. Vacuum hose adapters, a Bosch mechanical boost gauge, rubber grommets, electrical connectors, shrink tubing, 16 gauge wire in both red and black, additional vacuum hose, a voltometer, and a set of crimping pliers. All these links can be found in the description below. Let's get to it. All right, so the first step today is we're going to prep out our, uh, our boost gauge. Um, we have an LED light installed into the back of it right here, and you can see the positive and negative wires. We're going to neaten everything up, and we're going to install some electrical connectors. This will make it quick to disconnect it and reconnect it uh, if we have to make an adjustment or we want to move it in the future, and overall it's going to uh, you know, provide a really nice, clean look uh, to this installation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of our nylon tubing, with a small piece of heat shrink, okay, and we're going to snake our wires through there. Now this is a little tricky, a little tedious. Your wires are going to want to get caught on that uh, that nylon tubing, but just take your time with it. Uh, the end result uh, looks really nice. So we have our nylon tubing uh, slid over both our positive and negative cables. We have a little piece of uh, heat shrink. Uh, installed there at the base and what we're going to do is we're going to apply a little bit of heat. Uh, you want to keep the flame off the heat shrink but you want to just slowly go back and forth until it starts to wrap tightly around that nylon there. Okay. All right, now we're going to install our electrical connectors. You want about an eighth of an inch of your bare metal here to be exposed. And what I've done was I've taken my pliers or crimp tool and I have one ele quick disconnect electrical connector, okay, installed already. It ratchets and it locks. And so what we're going to do is we're going to slide this on to the negative terminal and we're going to wiggle it in there to make sure we have a nice tight fit and that all the connections are solid. And we're simply going to squeeze and now that connection is crimped. Okay, so this is the final result. Uh, you have your heat shrink tubing here, you have your nylon weave tubing here, and another piece of heat shrink, and your connectors that are crimped. And additionally what I did was I, uh, I put a little plus here and a little negative here and uh, that'll let us know that's our positive and negative when we go to hook it up to our power source in our vehicle. All right, so now what we're going to do is we have to find a place in the firewall to route our vacuum hose. Um, it's a little tricky. You see here I uh, completely removed the air box and the battery um, just so I had room to work. Uh, we did find an area to send it through the firewall. And what you do is you want to take some tie wire which can easily be found at a Home Depot in the masonry section. And what we did was we ran our wire through the firewall through that tube right there. Uh, fortunately for us that was a factory uh, installed uh, conduit uh, for additional wires in the future. Okay, so now once you're tie wire is ran through the firewall, we'll take a look at the interior. Alright, now we're in the interior of the car. You can see that this is our wire that we had passed through the engine bay, through that conduit. What I do is I put a little loop on the end there. And we also have our vacuum hose that was supplied with the boost gauge. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect these. Uh, best way is probably some tape. Make sure it's nice and tight and clean. You're going to go into the engine bay and you're going to slowly pull this wire back through bring your vacuum hose into the engine bay. Now that we have our vacuum hose routed through the firewall, you can see that we have wrapped our uh, our hose in our nylon tubing as well as our shrink tubing. 
this is going to give it a nice clean factory look and if we follow our vacuum hose you can see where we tapped into our vacuum source which is close to the manifold okay we have a vacuum tree and we just simply slid our elbow in and connected it now what we're going to do is we're going to tuck this wire in and we're going to move on to the interior for the electrical work we're now in the interior of the vehicle we're going to hook up our electric pulled out a couple switches here this is our dimmer switch we back probe to the black wire here and we have two pink wires which we hooked up our positive positive. and what we're going to simply do is we're going to turn our headlights on and we're going to see if we have power which in fact we do these are the areas that we're going to splice into for the power of our boost gauge all right, so we got our positive and negative hooked up here. Okay, and then this is going to be the, the wire that I wrapped in the nylon sheeting that's going to route up to the uh, boost gauge for the illumination. And uh, we use these uh, electrical connectors, put a little heat on them, they shrink up real nice. And we tied that right into the uh, negative and positive here of the dimmer switch. Now over here is our pigtail. For our illumination, this will match up to what we had already installed behind the boost gauge. And this is our vacuum hose routing. Okay, up into the top corner of the A-pillar. Alright, our boost gauge is all mounted up. We have a custom low car gauge pod. You can choose any color, your make and model of your vehicle. They make double, triple, single. Anyway, it looks really nice and beautiful, uh, almost original. So all the connections are made, wires are tucked to make sure you give yourself enough wire. Uh, you need some room to work in there, and you don't want to kink that vacuum hose. Anyway, without further ado, let's see what she does. All right, there she goes. Perfect. Let's see if we can get it to dim. There's the dimmer illumination off on perfect all right guys thank you for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and for more content on do-it-yourself auto repair visit 114 rides and don't forget to subscribe thanks again